What is up guys, this is Jay here, Jay Media one and we are back with another product tech review. Today's a good day because we got a brand new cool mic, and this is the Fifine. This is the Fifine AmpliGame mic. It is a gaming USB microphone for PC, PlayStation 5. It's a condenser mic with quick mute, RGB indicator, tripod stand, pop filter, shock mount, and gain control for streaming on Discord, Twitch, or just making podcasts. We are just going to get straight into the unboxing today, guys, so let's go. Hey guys, so here we have it. This is the Five Fine Ampli Game digital mic and this thing's super cool so we're just going to open it up just got to flip the lid here and there's some foam on the top some reading material we're just going to move that to the side for now we also have this USB-C cable here this is pretty nice it comes with this little strap so you can hide it if you need to on the mic another piece of foam and there is the microphone Wow, this thing is super light, guys. Very, very light. We're just gonna set that to the side for now. And we also have a tripod. Nothing else in the box. It says it just comes with one mic with a shock mount and pop filter, one tripod stand, one USB cable, and one user manual. We're gonna set that aside for now. Right here, we can see we have the tripod, which is nice. It's got these legs that just kind of fold out right into position. And it's got this rubber on the bottom here, so everything kind of just falls into place, which is nice. This mount here looks like the mount for a normal, you know, speak, uh, boom mount. If you were to mount this on a boom, it should be just fine. It should match right up. And you can see that here as well. Um, we do have a little knob underneath, and the knob is going to probably be for game control. This does have a mute it does have a mute button on top here, and this is a touch button, which is really nice. And then we got our pop filter. It's kind of put together really well. I like how the super strong the bands are. There's two bands per sector here, and there's four of them. So that should hold it just fine. I mean, if I shake it around, it's not going anywhere. And then we got our mount, so we can just screw this onto the bottom here, just like that. And then we can just unfold the legs, and there we go. So that's it just like that like i said you do have the knob underneath and we do have a little adjustment here as well so if we turn this we can change the angle of it which is nice so we have that option so we're going to get this thing plugged in so you guys can see what it looks like when it's all set up so we just plug in the usb-c here right into the back there's a little port snap that in there and then it's got this velcro so if I want to I can move this down kind of velcro it right around here if I like so that it stays out of the way towards the back of the the stand so when we're using it it's out of the way which is good so we're just gonna plug in this USB-A and there we go it powers up and it powers up right away it's got this nice RGB Super nice color you can see there. It's got like this blue that blends into a purple gradient and then it switches from a green to a blue gradient and it goes all the way around. And like I said, this thing is super light. This this mouth here is much heavier than the actual microphone itself. And on top we got our mute button there. If we hit that, we can see that the colors go out inside of the microphone. When the colors go out, we know that it's off, which is great. And that just lets us know when we're recording and when we're not. And we really need that there because that lets us know. And then underneath, we got the gain control. This is just a knob here. So super easy to turn and adjust. We're going to let you guys uh, hear what this sounds like directly from the mic itself. Okay, guys, we are back and we got everything hooked up. You are actually listening to me through the Fi-Fi right now. And we got everything hooked up. You guys couldn't hear me right there because it went to bed. 
this thing is changing colors it looks pretty cool it does have some really cool graphics and gradient changes inside of it underneath if I turn this up you can hear the difference if I change the gain on the bottom here all the way down 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 to nothing so it does a pretty good job there and you can change the different levels depending on what you want to hear through this thing so it's very cool in that manner the only thing that I wish I could see from this is a headphone output because I do really enjoy that with my Yeti I like having the headphone output so I could hear myself how I sound in the microphone but other than that I think it's a pretty good quality microphone if you guys are using it for gaming you're going to have the ability to plug it into your PlayStation or whatever to do it that way or you can use it for PC as well and so it does have some a lot of different options really and it is a pretty good mic I like the pop filter on it I like how the stand is I like how it sets I don't feel like I have to be all the way up here on the mic I feel like I could be back here and be comfortable and be fine with the microphone so you guys be judge of the sound quality but this is going directly through the Fifine, no other microphone at this point in time. So after this, we're going to get right into the tech specs, guys. So hang tight. Okay, guys, we are back and we're going to get right into the tech specs on this bad boy. So this is a gaming USB microphone. We already talked about all that. Uh, you saw a lot of the, the uh, looks as far as aesthetics go. But we're going to talk about the features and details. It's gradient RGB and quick mute. You guys saw that. You just tap on the top. It is touch responsive, which is nice. It's not an actual hard button. It's chromatic RGB, which makes you immerse yourself into a personalized gaming effects. The quick touch mute button on the top helps you mute it silently in one second, which is super nice. Reminding of working status, it'll let you know, hey, the lights are off. This thing is not working at this point in time. Uh, there's no need to worry about audio accidents during streaming because of that. It's got vivid voice enjoyment. It offering sampling rates of 192 kilohertz, which makes your voice natural and vivid to create a better sound. Cardioid condenser microphone precisely picks up the front sound and reduces the noise from sides and the rear, and it amplifies your sound pretty well. It's the perfect gift grabber for a YouTuber or a gamer. It's handily used. It's got the gain knob at the bottom, which is easy to be reached without any hindrances of accessories. You can handily adjust the best recording effect you need. The thumb screw on the shock mount helps you adjust the tilt of the microphone for a better recording angle. It's pretty easy installation. Um, everything seemed to be plug and play. I just plugged it right in and it was ready to go. Um, it's compatible with Windows and Mac OS. It's plug and play. It's easy to set your microphone on the tripod stand. It's got those non-slip rubber feet so that it can stand firmly but not scratch your desk. Useful accessories are the mesh pop filter which effectively blocks pops when you record. It can also keep your microphone surface clean. The shock mount can reduce mechanical noise making your voice smoother and silkier. So all in all, what do I think? I think this is a pretty good product, guys. I think for the price, this thing is great. We're going to list it up here, the Amazon description for you guys as well. So you guys can get yours in the link below if you click down below for that. And if you guys enjoyed this video, as always, make sure to mash the like button and don't forget to subscribe to the channel because we make new tech product reviews all the time. So you guys need to stay in touch. Click the bell, that also helps. And don't forget, visit jaymedia1.com for all your shopping needs for cool tech stuff that you might not find anywhere else. And also check out the podcast. We have a podcast on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts. It's on all the platforms, guys. All right, guys. Until next time. Later, guys.